Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and you just bought your iPhone 13, your 13 Pro, or your 13 Max, and you really just want to set it up. You want to do a backup, you want to do a whole bunch of stuff with this device, or if you want to start fresh, this is the video that you have to watch. So, let's start the video, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pow. All right, guys, so you just unbox your iPhone 13. As you guys can see, it does have the hello in different languages. So you just have to swipe up and you have to pick your language. I'm going with English here, going with United States. All right, so you can actually do it manually. You guys could pause that if you guys want to read it for yourself. If you have another iPhone that you're coming from, if you haven't traded that one in yet, you can actually do it similar to how you use your Apple Watch if you have set up an Apple Watch before, it's very similar and you're saying how to transfer your data. Basically, what happens is that when you're at this one right here, it does actually have a pop-up on the older phone and it will tell you, do you want to set it up on here? And you could actually do it flawlessly. But if you want to do it the old way, you can actually follow it right here. Or if you want to do it manually, that's exactly the way you have to do. So let me put on my Wi-Fi, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just input my Wi-Fi. Now it's saying that it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. But uh, just going to wait for that, and then we're going to load it right back up when it's finished. All right, so here we have our data and privacy. You can actually learn more, or you could just hit continue. You guys could pause that and read it for yourself. You definitely can. Hit continue. This is where you set up your face unlock, your face ID. iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of your face to unlock automatically use Apple Pay make purchases I really love face ID but there's a lot of there's a few people I know who just prefer to have the pin lock and they say that if, if, if the cops want to pull you over they could just put it to your face or something like that um, there's a whole bunch of things about that you can actually set this up uh, we can actually do a little bit of it so far so you guys can see my face all right so here's my face right here and um, just have to roll your head around I do have my camera there, so I will be doing this again, just like so. All right, um, there you go. That's how you set it up. Here, continue. Then you can make your code. I usually go with this one. Um, this passcode could be easily guessed. Use anyways. I will actually change this as soon as this video is over, so I can do everything again because I do have another phone that I do want to back up. So if you want to do it the older style, you can do it from an iCloud backup, your Mac or PC transfer directly from your iPhone or you can move data from from your Android device or you could just have a fresh start so you can actually restore from backup so I do have an older one but um, I'm going to do something else and here you have to sign on to your Apple ID all right use different ID uh, or don't have an Apple ID let's see if we could do it later okay so you can set it up later but when you sign in you should be able to um, download your apps or whatever but when you don't sign in you can't actually download no apps but this is exactly what it is so you guys can see the new boot up for iOS 15 uh, you can set up Siri um, you can set up the screen time if you guys have kids you can set this up so you can actually turn their phone off at a specific time iPhone analytics and you do have your light mode and your dark mode which basically means that it's That'll be a little bit more nice to see when you're in your bed at nighttime. So you leave it on dark mode. I do always leave this one on standard. And that's it, guys. This is how it looks exactly when you unbox your iPhone 13. Just like this. All right. So let's see how much storage is in here out the box. Out the box for the 128 model, you ha you get 112.99 gigs out the box when you have a fresh start. Um, so that is actually pretty good. It's only using about 16 gigabytes, 15 gigabytes for the actual OS. So if you guys like this video, if it helped you out in any way, hit that thumbs up. If you guys like this channel, subscribe if you haven't already and follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the iPhone 13 and more tech to come. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video.